So you want to get rich in Hogwarts Legacy to afford everything your heart desires. Well ladies and gentlemen, you've come to the right place. In today's video, I'm going to show you the best way to make money in Hogwarts Legacy, and it's actually one of the best ways to level up in the game as well. With this video, you're going to be able to afford everything you want in Hogwarts Legacy and level up extremely fast at the same time. Now you might be wondering to yourself, well Dag, how much galleons am I actually going to be making with this? You're going to be able to make over 21,000 galleons per hour and over 5,000 XP per hour. Now, 5,000 XP doesn't sound like a lot in traditional games, but it's actually a ton in Hogwarts Legacy. Now, before we get into the actual farming rotation, you will need to get to a point in the game where you unlock the Vivarium in the Room of Requirements. This is going to happen shortly after entering the Autumn Season, and you're going to enter the Room of Requirement, and Deke will mention the Vivarium, and it'll also provide you with the Nab Sack, which we'll need to be able to do this farming method. During this tutorial mission, Deke will actually take you to two of the locations that we're going to use to farm up all of our money and experience points. This is also the point that Deke will mention the Brood and Peck, and that the owner of this lovely shop will buy all of our extra beasts from us. I know that we're supposed to be quote unquote rescuing these beasts, but this is definitely treading the line of poaching. Now that we've got all of that out of the way, let's go over the two locations that we're going to farm up in rotation to make all of our money. The first one is going to be that moon calf den that Deke takes us to, which is right next to this fast travel point just northeast of the Quidditch field pitch right here. And we do need to farm these up at nighttime, just like we did with Deke. And these are super easy. Now, the amount of money that you make from the beasts is actually exactly the same, regardless of how difficult they Let are me to capture. So our goal here is to capture the easiest beasts that we can. Now, moon calves are incredibly easy to capture. Uh, Deke already taught us how to do it by using the Levioso Everything's to right lift them up in the air, and then we just capture them real quick. Now this area is going to spawn eight of these every time. Now once we capture all of these bad boys, we're going to go to another location. Now not only are we going to be making 120 galleons per beast we catch, but you'll notice every time we capture one of these, we're gonna get 30 XP. 30 XP doesn't sound like a lot, but actually doing one rotation of this will get you over a quarter of a level in just five or six minutes. It's pretty ridiculous. Capturing all eight moon calves here should take about two to two and a half minutes, depending on if you aggro the spiders near the spawn point. And then from here, what we need to do is we need to open up our map. Then we're going to press R3 to wait until daytime. Once it's daytime, we're going to open up our map again. And then we are going to fast travel to this location right here, the Forbidden Forest fast travel point. From here, you're going to immediately hop on your broom. You're going to turn around and you're going to head east to the Puffer Keen spawn point that Deke takes us to during the tutorial mission. It's just past this little archway in this little like cranny in here. Now there's going to be like eight to 10 Puffer Keen that spawn here. And the spawn cycles happen on a day and night cycle. So once you actually empty out a camp, you won't be able to do it until the next night or the next day. Rebellion. Now, the interesting thing about Puffer Keens is they're so unbelievably easy to capture. If you're really lucky, you might actually catch all the Puff Skeens hiding in these trees right here, which means you won't even have to chase the majority of them around while you're catching them. This entire loop, including fast traveling, resting, and selling all of your beasts, should take you about five to six and a half minutes, depending on how lucky you get with capturing all of the beasts. Once you have captured all the puff skeins in this area, you're gonna open up your map. You're going to go to the Hogsmeade map, and you're gonna take the fast travel point called North Hogsmeade, which is right near the Brood and Peck. From this fast travel point, you're going to immediately run and turn left, and the Brood and Peck is going to be right here. Now this entire rotation I've done about five, maybe six times. And I on mean, average, it's taken me sorry, about six minutes, sometimes less, sometimes a little bit more, which means you're getting quite a bit of money every single rotation. Now the main thing to keep in mind is speed with this. If you can't capture all eight to 10 of the puff skeins or they're not all there, sometimes just only focus on catching six. It's all about speed and efficiency. So if it's taking you a long time to grab like one or two extra ones, it's not really worth it. Just go back to Hogsmeade, sell everything that you can, and then start the rotation all over again. It's all about speed. Now, once you've sold all of your beasts, we're going to exit out of this menu. Again. And we're just going to actually rest once again until nighttime, and we're going to start the entire rotation all over again. 
Now, I do want to mention that it seems the faster you get to the puff skin uh, location, the more higher chance you have of actually finding them all sleeping in the trees, which is going to speed this process up quite a bit. So the goal here is to average about a six minute rotation and make as much money as possible. But I do really hope you all enjoyed today's video. Let me know what you think in the comments below, and I'll see you all in the next one.